My name is Claire Pernar, and I'm a research associate in the Department of Epidemiology. Well, this project followed previous studies in which our group and others observed that men who engage in more physical activity, particularly high intensity or vigorous activity, were less likely to develop prostate cancer. And this was especially true for risk of lethal prostate cancer and a molecular subtype of the disease with the tempers 2 erg gene fusion. And in this study, we wanted to investigate the underlying biology of this. We wanted to ask whether long-term physical activity may induce changes in, tumor, in the tumor microenvironment and whether we could observe this by looking at differences in gene expression in tumor tissue and adjacent normal tissue of the prostate in men with prostate cancer. Um, this study was exploratory, and we broadly hypothesized that physical activity may alter gene expression in prostate tissue, and that this may contribute to the beneficial association we've observed between physical activity and prostate cancer risk. Well, our main findings were in the adjacent normal tissue, we identified 25 KEG gene sets or pathways significantly enriched in men with the highest levels of activity compared to the lowest levels. And our findings were not statistically significant in the tumor tissue. And among the pathways we identified in the adjacent normal tissue were several cancer-defined pathways, as well as pathways related to cellular immune response and signal transduction. Um, these findings suggest that Vigorous physical activity may influence the tumor microenvironment, and our identification of gene expression alterations associated with vigorous physical activity helps us to better understand the etiology of the disease. Yes, there are many questions still to be answered about how physical activity may affect prostate cancer. Since this was an exploratory study, we will be interested to see if other studies observe this in other study populations. And one question is, why do we see statistically significant pathways in the adjacent normal tissue more so than in the tumor tissue? There's more to learn about potential interactions between the tumor and adjacent normal tissue. Another question is, how could these pathways that we identified help us to explain the findings that I mentioned earlier that vigorous physical activity is associated with risk of advanced or lethal prostate cancer and prostate cancer with a tempers to erg fusion.